who doesn't love a good dog movie? The plots and genres might vary, but movies that incorporate dogs' good qualities and the bonds between a dog and his owner are almost sure to make you laugh, tug on your heartstrings, and give you that warm fuzzy feeling inside. Dozens of movies have been made starring dogs, but some are more powerful than others. Fortunately, we have narrowed down the list of our favorite dog movies, and we are deeming them the 12 best dog movies of all time. Dramatic, right? Here goes nothing. Number 12, A Dog's Purpose. Here for a reason? Is there a point to any of this? And why does food taste so much better in the trash? This was me. If you can't handle a movie that features puppies dying, you may want to pass on A Dog's Purpose. This flick has too many to count, but that's part of what makes it so sentimental and touching. What other movie has a corgi that literally dies from heartbreak? Rest assured, any dog that dies in this film doesn't actually die for good. Rather, the film follows a pup's soul as he searches for meaning. He gets reincarnated as several other pups, builds strong bonds with several owners, and discovers the secret to living over the course of several lifetimes. It's inspiring, heartfelt, and has more than a few tea-rattled moments like a dog flick should. If I can get you licking and loving, I have my purpose. Number 11. Lady in the Trap. Is there anything more romantic than this Disney love story about a cocker spaniel and a mutt who fall for one another? The film was an incredible box office success when it was released in 1955, and contains one of the most memorable date scenes in cinematic history, if not, arguably, the most. Unfortunately, many critics panned it for its animation style, not realizing how large its scope would be in later years. Everything from The Simpsons to Queer as Folk has made reference to the film, and our list wouldn't have been complete without it. Number 10, Best in Show. Dogs competing for Best in Show. To think that in some countries these dogs are eaten. Possibly the best of director Christopher Guest's mockumentary style films, Best in Show tells the story of several hopefuls who all want to help their dogs win the blue ribbon at the most prestigious dog show in the nation. The characters, and the dogs, will have you falling over laughing, but the best part is that you don't have to go to the Westminster Kennel Club dog show every year to know someone, or some dog, who reminds you of them. The films received overwhelmingly positive reviews and won several awards, despite having a small box office opening in gross. He went after her like she's made out of ham. Number 9. Homeward Bound. The Incredible Journey. Love it in the country. Have a nice vacation! And far from home. <laughs> they were determined. Many of us will recall watching the first Homeward Bound film as kids, in which a cat and two dogs are left on a farm, while their family takes a trip to San Francisco. The pets believe themselves to be abandoned and decide to find their humans, leading to a journey that truly is incredible. The film is narrated by Michael J. Fox as the American Bulldog Chance, and he and the other animals, a golden retriever named Shadow and a Himalayan cat named Sassy, speak to each other throughout the story. Everything about this movie is handled beautifully, from its plot to the animals' voiceovers to its happy ending. Because of its critical and box office success, the film was also followed by a sequel, Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco. Comes Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. Number 8. My Dog Skip. Every family needs an optimist. He's sensible. You can't handle it. The cast of this movie from 2000 is incredible Diane Lane, Kevin Bacon and Frankie Muniz take the stage, along with two Jack Russell Terrier actors named Moose and Enzo. The storyline includes drama, comedy and even historical events, which makes for an interesting plot and a heartwarming story about the friendship between a boy and his dog. <laughs> My dog Skip. Number 7. Eight Below. Isolated region on Earth. Survival expert Jerry Shepard and the crew of the United States Research Base. This action film stars the late Paul Walker, who plays a guide at a research base in Antarctica. He agrees to take a professor by dog sled to a mountain, in order for him to find a rare meteorite. A storm hits, and even though the two men are able to get back to base camp, they are evacuated without being able to take the dogs, too. The bulk of this film focuses on what the dogs do to remain alive, while the storm surrounds them, and the humans are trying to return to their rescue. Eight Below, inspired by a true story.
Number six, 101 Dalmatians. The puppies are here. Puppies everywhere. I know. <laughs> It's the Glenn Close was great in the live-action remake, but our number six pick had to go to the original animated classic. The movie centers around the Dalmatians Pongo and Perdita and their 15 puppies, as well as their owners Roger and Anita. When the puppies are stolen by the evil Cruella de Vil who wants to make them into a coat, the parents go to rescue their babies and a few others along the way. The film was based on a novel by Dodie Smith and adapted by Disney to enormous financial success. In fact, it has been re-released in theaters four times since its original launch, and is still one of Disney's most popular films. Didn't we dance? Critics and audiences have made it one of Disney's all-time greatest classics. Number five, Marley and Me. Your first dog. Of course, that kid's not even me. <laughs> That's me. And that this late 2000s family film has become a favorite of dog lovers everywhere. Based on the memoir by the New York Times columnist John Grogan, Marley and Me tells the story of John, Owen Wilson, and Jenny, Jennifer Aniston, a married couple who adopt a puppy named Marley as practice for children. Marley proves to be a disobedient handful of a dog, but that doesn't stop him from helping John, Jen, and eventually their two sons, through the ups and downs of life. Aside from reminding us why a pet dog can truly become the nucleus of a family unit, Marley and Me's heartbreaking ending makes viewers want to grab their pups and hug them tight. And me. Ah. Number four, Hachi, the dog's tail. That's where their story began. Hey, buddy, you lost? If you're ready to blow your eyes out, Hachi, a dog's tail, rates even higher on the cry scale than Marley and me. The story follows a faithful pup who's accidentally left at a train station amidst a move from Japan to America. He's found and adopted by a professor, who unsuccessfully searches for Hachi's owner. The pair develops a close bond, and every day Hachi follows the professor to the train station, and waits for him to come home from work. Of course, we can't have nice things in dog movies, so this quickly turns tragic. One day, the professor never returns on the train. Hachi, being the loyal dog he is, continues to wait. Eventually, he's picked up by one of the professor's relatives who tries to explain that the professor had died from cerebral palsy. Hachi doesn't quite understand and continues to wait at the train station every single day. Although this one is a definite tearjerker, the duo's unlikely bond is worth watching. And you loved Hachi, a dog's tale based on a true story. And that's why Hachi. Number three, Togo. My business is dogs. As we reach the top three dog movies, 2019's Togo has earned a spot among the best. Willem Dafoe plays Leon Hertz Apollo, who leads his sled dogs through the treacherous Sarum run in 1925. It's a true story that goes back and forth between the heroic run and the early years of the titular Togo, who was originally seen as too small and weak to lead the sled. Defoe's performance incredibly injects heart into the movie, as he has a tumultuous relationship with the dogs, something many of us can relate to. It's everything a dog movie should be hopelessly adorable, adventuresome, beautiful and tragic. I got the Togo! Number 2. Old Yeller. The ultimate dog film, Old Yeller, taught us the true highs and lows of owning and loving a pet, the responsibility they give you, the pain of their loss, and the memories that we would never trade. The film takes place in the late 1800s in Texas. Dog actor Spike, a Labrador retriever Mastiff mix, played the title character who is discovered by a boy named Travis on his farm. Travis does not like the dog at first, but eventually warms to him when Yeller protects his younger brother from a bear. However, a rabies outbreak in the area leads to an ending that still makes viewers tear up, no matter their age. Another film that has become ingrained in popular culture, Old Yeller, received critical praise upon its release, and still tugs at the heartstrings of kids and adults everywhere. Number 1. Lassie Come Home But his greatest story was, Lassie Come Home. Lassie is the story of Lassie Come Home was the first of many films starring Pal, a rough collie who later took on the stage name of Lassie. The film, about a dog and a boy in Yorkshire, England whose love for one another allows them to find each other against all obstacles, was a huge hit for Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. Pal and his owner made a lucrative career from Lassie's success, and the dog's decedents even played the title character in the television series Lassie, launched in 1954. However, the original film is still the best of the bunch.
Do you think there are any more examples of canine cinema that we might have left out? What's your favorite of the bunch? Let us know in the comments section. Hey guys I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe my channel.